As far as Wisconsin is concerned, the Big Ten can keep adding teams every year if they want. A week after welcoming Maryland to the tune of a 52-7 win, Saturday, Wisconsin went to Rutgers for the first time ever and left with a 37-0 shutout win at High Point Solutions Stadium, the Badgers' first road shutout since 1998. A blocked punt from A.J. Jordan gave Wisconsin golden field position early and jump-started the Badger offense. In the second quarter, it was Corey Clemens' turn. The Glassboro, New Jersey native made sure it was a happy homecoming when he ripped off a 43-yard touchdown run for a 14-0 lead. Rafael Gaglianone would knock in a pair of field goals. The first one, which was set up by an interception from senior Marcus Trotter. The second one would stake UW to a 20-0 halftime advantage. Melvin Gordon continued to make the beginning of the second half must-see TV. This time, he took his first snap after intermission off left tackle, stepped on the brakes, changed direction, and outran the entire Rutgers defense 51 yards for his second touchdown of the game. Gordon would finish with 128 yards on the afternoon. His backfield mate, Clement, was even better, rushing for 131 yards and a pair of touchdowns. The second one coming early in the fourth quarter when he blasted through the line for a 36-yard score and a 37-0 lead. How did it feel playing back in New Jersey and putting on this kind of performance? Uh, I think you can think how I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling excited, happy, thankful, uh, grateful that I have all these fans that come out and support me. It's, uh, it, it all starts back in high school and Little League as to how many coaches and friends that I still have along with me watching my journey as I just keep growing up into becoming a better man in person. And uh, you know, I, I'm just happy that I can you know, come out here and results show for what they did today. You feel like this offense is starting to click pretty well these last few weeks? Yeah, I think we're clicking every day when we go out to practice and everything is just, you know, timing's better uh, execution wise and we're just all clicking at one and now we're just, you know, going to keep finalizing for the rest of the season. Now we got Purdue. For the second week in a row, the Wisconsin defense held their opponent under 200 total yards, limiting the Scarlet Knights to just 139 total and just eight first downs. I think getting everybody back healthy, uh, a week ago we got Warren and Marcus Trotter back, uh, that was definitely a big lift on the inside. I think everybody just taking, uh, knowing their assignments and just executing them on the field. We've had uh, simpler game plans and we haven't had that many calls, we've just been uh, playing those and everybody's been doing their job and I think that's led to, a, to the reason why. <laughs> You guys really seem to be getting a lot of pressure on opposing QBs, too. Already 24 sacks this year, just had 26 last year. Has that been an increased emphasis, too? Oh, yeah, definitely, especially on the outside, guys like me and Vince uh, coming off the edge. I think they let us come after the quarterback a little more, and then uh, Landish and Trotter have been so good on the inside, and the D-line are doing well with their stunt games. I think it definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely has been a big point of emphasis, and I think everybody's kind of embraced it, taking it upon themselves to make it better, and we've shown that so far this year. A week ago, the defense gave up a late touchdown. How important was the shutout today? Oh, it was definitely a great feeling. It was good to see those young guys step in there, and they didn't score any points. Uh, it's just it's a proud moment when you see your guys who don't play as much come in and make plays, make tackles, do some good things, and keep them off the scoreboard. Yeah. Wisconsin wins its third straight game and moves to six and two on the season, making them bowl eligible yet again. Now the Badgers will travel to West Lafayette next Saturday to take on Purdue. Kickoff is at 11 o'clock, and UWBadgers.com will bring you there.